Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Anikowski and this episode is purely just a mnemonic, so all other terms are touched on in other episodes. So nothing new here. So for Freud and Erickson's theories of development, there are a lot of stages and they're very high yield, but how do you remember them? Well, I wasn't satisfied with current mnemonics, so I made my own. Hopefully they can help you too. First for Erickson, then for Freud, because Freud is a little bit vulgar. Now, I want you to close your eyes. Not if you're driving. And imagine a large green pasture. In the pasture, you see some little robots. Let's call them baby bots. And what are they doing? Well, they appear to be walking around a conveyor belt in the middle of a field. Like they're building something. They appear to be building buckets. They are baby bots building buckets. But why? Well, it seems they're giving these buckets to some bears. And not just any bears, but the Chicago Bears. Oh, wait, no, just blue bears. Sorry, Chicago life problems. Anyways, these blue bears, they look, well, bored. Really bored. Like, no excitement whatsoever bored. But interestingly, there's something above their head. It appears to be a halo. All right, so now we have baby bots building buckets for blue, bored, blessed bears. So how does this help us? Well, babies, when they enter the world, are looking for someone who they can trust, of course. So this is the first stage, trust versus mistrust. Now, that's not that intuitive, but all the other ones are. Baby bots. Well, bots are autonomous, right? So we have autonomy versus shame and doubt. Baby bots building. Why building? Because building is an action requiring an initiative. Building, initiative, so initiative versus guilt. Baby bots building buckets. Why buckets? Because they can be mass produced in an industry, of course. So buckets, industry, so industry versus inferiority. Baby bots building buckets for blue. Why blue? Because it's an identifier. Thus identity versus role confusion. Baby bots building buckets for blue bored. Why are they bored? Maybe because they're isolated. So intimacy versus isolation. Baby bots building buckets for blue bored blessed. Why are they blessed with that halo? Because blessed people are generous, of course. So generativity versus stagnation. And lastly, baby bots building buckets for blue bored blessed bears. Why bears? Because bear rhymes with despair. Ego integrity versus despair. Now for ages, we're going to simplify them a bit. And please note that they're basically the same for both Freud and Erickson. So the first stage is, of course, age one, because it's the first stage, number one, and then jump to three. Now, you just need to remember this part. So after three, just double it each time. So three to six, then six to 12. Freud's last stage is 12 plus, but Erickson at this point jumps to age 20. Again, you got to remember this. But then you just add 20 each time. So 20, then 40, then 60, then 60 plus. Boom, done. So the ages are up to 1, 3, 6, 12, 20, 40, 60, 60 plus. Now, if you don't like vulgar mnemonics, please skip the rest of the episode. So for Freud, I want you to imagine you're on a first date and it's going great and you get back to their place and it's getting hot and heavy, but you're not willing to have full intercourse. So what do you do? Well, oral, of course. Thus, you have the oral stage. All right, now you've gone on a few dates. You're getting ready to go to the next level, but you don't want any kids, do you? I mean, you're going to be a doctor. Ain't nobody got time for that, especially you. So you're going to have to limit yourself to the other side. Thus, the anal stage is born. Now it's been going well for a couple months, and you're ready to move to the next stage with the associated risks. So you move to vaginal intercourse, or in this case, the phallic stage. All right, now life's going great going well, you love each other, now it's time to get married. And what happens in marriage? Well, not sex, of course. So you've hit the latent stage of this relationship. So now a couple of decades go by, you're both in a nursing home, maybe separate because you got divorced, maybe your spouse died on you, or it's just you for whatever reason. Despite what you think, STDs run rampant in nursing homes. Multiple friends of mine have told me stories of walking in on old couples having sex in the rooms. Now, I want you to imagine walking into this, that awkward time when you see two old people bumping uglies. What's ugly? The genitals, of course, and sorry for that image, 
but you just hit the genital stage. So oral stage, anal stage, phallic stage, latent stage, and genital stage. That's it. I hope these mnemonics help you.